Storage Made Easy unifies on-premises and cloud storage into a single, easily managed file fabric with policy-based controls for governance, audit, and security. Organizations use file fabric to enable workgroup collaboration, file sharing, and synchronization through a suite of desktop, mobile, and web apps. Let's have a look first at the web app. For this demo, I'm actually logging in as a tenant. The solution is deployed as a multi-tenant software appliance on-premise, in the cloud, or as a managed service. I'll log in for this tenant using a username and password. This could be tied to my enterprise identity provider, and two-factor authentication is also supported. The default starting point is the home page. Uh, it lists the major tasks available based on my permissions, and it can also be customized. I'll jump to the cloud provider dashboard. As an administrator, this is where I manage connectors to different storage providers. FileFabric supports many different types of storage and a number of cloud operations, including object storage, traditional file servers, FTP, apps, and public clouds. We can see here we have Wasabi set up as an S3 compatible cloud with 32 files and 37 megabytes. Individual users can also add their own private accounts. We can see here Mark has added his personal Dropbox account and also an FTP site perhaps a website. This is a great way of adding corporate oversight to sharing from personal accounts as well as make it easier to migrate data or transfer data perhaps from unsanctioned to sanctioned data stores. I can add a new partner here or add a new connector rather. I can choose to have a backup provider. This is where I'm adding a second provider that transparently replicates changes on the primary. It can be a completely different vendor or technology or location so it's great providing a disaster recovery backup. Let's add a Google Drive provider. I'm going to call this Sales Authorize Access. What's happening now is SME is going out and pulling out the object metadata for the provider in the background. The source or file names aren't changed, although this metadata by um, having this under control of SME is now searchable and we can provide um, a file system like view. Once the data has been indexed, it becomes searchable. We can also present both this information as well as object storage as files and folders. It can be accessed through this web interface as well as desktop apps, uh, mobile apps and mounted drives. Let's look a bit more at the Cloud File Manager. Cloud File Manager is providing a human-friendly view into Wasabi Cloud Storage. Wasabi uses, of course, application-friendly APIs, S3 APIs, and we're mapping the file operations as semantics in, um, into these S3 compatible operations supported by Wasabi Storage. So creating a folder at the root creates a bucket. We can drag and drop to upload files and the file fabrics are synchronously uploading these to Wasabi Storage. If we went to Wasabi Storage, we'll uh, refresh to see a bucket, and then we can see this data that's been loaded. From this view, we can see uh, previews of our files. Uh, we could see previews of images, of uh, PDF files, and of course, uh, Office documents. We can look at when the files were last accessed, where they were uploaded from. Uh, we can also add comments to the, lo the, the file. Let's uh, actually do this down here. From this view, we can also 
delete files by default the files go into the the trash which may or may not be accessible to the the end user by by your choice we can move files or copy files between folders uh, between source providers between cloud providers We could also edit. If we uh, double click by default, we'll actually open a local application and be able to make changes downloading the file. Once we save or, or close that, the file will be uploaded back to the cloud. see now we have another version. The same information is also available through a desktop network drive. So we can just double click this. This makes it real easy for users to access files using their favorite desktop applications. Files are automatically locked and versioned. We go back to the cloud view We can see now that this file is locked, so if an attempt is made to edit this by another user, they will be notified or get read-only access. We can make changes here. Uh, from this view, we can also look at uh, the comments. From the file system view, we can also use the, the right button to provide additional options. Sharing we'll look at shortly, comments, um, even locking from within the file manager. I also have a file manager open as user mark. We'll see how this view is different based on the permissions Mark has. We're going to convert sales to a shared folder. We will add uh, read access for marketing. as well as sort of read, write, uh, delete access, we also have some functional uh, permissions here if we want to use them for supporting the ability to, to share uh, or to only view files, for example, through the web. Once we've done that and uh, go back to Mark, uh, Mark now has access to the sales account. Uh, in this case, though, it's read-only, so we see the, the grayed-out uh, files. We can also add permissions to buckets or child folders, as well as overriding our parent permissions. And we can integrate with LDAP or Active Directory to pull in the organization of roles, as well as uh, create permission groups. So, um, how do I share files with our users in the company or even external parties? One way is sharing links, which can be ordered and tracked by administrators. Here we have uh, support with a number of options. Uh, we can share a link that expires after a certain amount of time. We could set the uh, download limits. Uh, we could set a password. These also, I'm gonna set the password, password, password.
What's also nice is I can, I may have organizational policies that can uh, override these. So I might require a certain expiration date, require a certain uh, limit, uh, download, download limit. I might require a password to be set, or even that I have to provide a reason and the email address or name of the person I'm sharing this with. So I use password again. And now it's prompting me to, to download the file. I can also send links via email from within the web application. I could also um, share from within the mobile apps and desktop apps as well. Let's look at some enterprise integration settings. We spoke about how Storage Made Easy adds corporate controls to Wasabi Storage, making it easy to manage and use as a secured file system. SME can connect through LDAP, AD or SAML to enterprise identity management systems to provide single sign-on for web, desktop and mobile tools and applications. Users can then be imported, or alternatively, can be created on first login. They have a variety of controls to uh, block IP addresses and devices on a per user basis. Roles can be imported from the enterprise identity management system as well or created here and there are a lot of options for uh, give you fine grain level of control over permissions. Let's look at some tools for compliance. The Share Links view provides a list of the file shares across the system and allow IT to both monitor and also withdraw shares. The audit logs provide detailed information about user and system activities that access and modify files. Audit logs can be exported in syslogs format for tools like Splunk um, or uh, leveraged by other system uh, tools. We jump into uh, shared team folders. We can see another view of permissions. And here's also where we can set up audit watches. Let's see, for example, uh, we want to monitor any incoming uh, papers in the white paper folder. We can actually just create, uh, we'll match any file, or maybe we'll just uh, match uh, PDF files. And uh, We'll send a notification to Mark. Now Mark will get a, an email whenever a file that matches that is created in that folder. Let's look at uh, some system options, the policies. Uh, this is where we manage uh, the policies around uh, what features are available, but also what security settings um, our organization wants to um, ensure and manage through the system. So for example, uh, we have a number of policies around uh, file sharing. Uh, we could limit the, uh, let's say anything, any f files that are shared are shared for five days with a maximum of three downloads. We could require someone to enter in the uh, the name of the person they're sharing the file with. Um, similar, we have settings for security, uh, client-side encryption, different options for versioning and support for a trash. Support also for uh, a branding. So it can be branded on a per-tenant basis or a per-appliance basis.